demonstrate on how to tie the two half hitches. I'll go over all of the instructions in detail in the step-by-step -step guide. So let's get started! The very step is to take the end of the rope and put it underneath of the piece of the wood. And then back over. Making sure you have a good amount of slack on the end of the rope. Next, take the end and put it underneath the other portion of the rope. Then pull on both of those and tighten it up. To make the second, take the end of the rope and put it underneath the other section of the rope. Then bring the end through the hook and loop and then simply pull on both sections of rope to tighten it up. I will show you how to tie the very easy and simple half hitch. For the first step, pass the end of the rope up to the ring from below. Second step, bring it down. Third step, bring the end back up and pass it through the eye of the loop. Pull it tight and complete the half hitch for the last step. This may be not very simple than the other complicated knots, but it's very useful for us, like tying up the parcels and the shoelaces. Ang susunod na knot tying na gagawin natin ay tinatawag na reef knot. Reef knot or square knot is an ancient and a simple binding knot used to secure a rope or line around an object. So usually, ginagamit natin ang reef knot to secure something or for example, a bundle of object na gusto nating talian para hindi gumalaw. So paano nga ba gawin ang reef knot? Para magawa natin ang reef knot, kinakailangan natin gumamit ng rope. Paggawa ng leaf knot, lagi lang nating tatandaan na ito ang left side ng rope natin at ito naman ang right side. So, first step is ipapatong lang natin itong nasa left side sa right side. And then, i-roll natin ito. At i-ilalim naman natin itong nasa left side at ipapatong ang nasa right side. And then, i-roll lang ulit natin at hihilain natin at nakagawa na tayo ng leaf knot. At ngayon, pakinggan naman natin ang susunod na knot time natin na tinatawag na figure of eight. Hi everyone! Here's the procedure of figure of eight knot. First, I put the line on my left hand and I take the tail with my right hand. Place it over the line so both parts cross. Then I take the point where both parts of the line cross each other between my thumb and my forefinger of the left hand. Then with the right hand, I grab the tail underneath the loop, I take it up to the right side and stick into the loop from above. And now, I pull both parts of the line and the figure 8 knot is finished. Figure of 8 knot is also known as the Flemish knot. This is a type of stopper knot that helps in climbing and sailing by not allowing the tag ends of rope to slip out of the retaining devices. Hi! Today I'll be teaching you guys kung paano gawin ang simple sheet band knot. The sheet band is a joining knot used in boating, outdoor, and also around the house. The primary use for this is to join two lines of different diameters and types. You will need a thick length rope, though ito hindi siya ganun katik, pero this one will work na din. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Step 1. Fold one end of the left rope back on itself to form a band or a bight that looks like a U-shape tip on its right side. Step 2. Slip one end of the right rope through the bite from behind. Step 3. Now, wrap the end of the right rope around both arms of the left rope. 
crossing over the short arm first and staying below the trade. Step 4. Bringing the end of the right rope around to the front. Pass it between itself and the short arm. Step 5. Tighten the knot by pulling both ends of the right rope. And there you have it. You can now do the sheet band knot. Did you know that the sheet band is a primary knot used in the making of nets? Well, now you know. Ngayon naman, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gawin ang timber hitch. All you need is a wood and the rope. For the first step, pass the end of the rope around the wood. And then, around the standing end. Wrap the end around itself in banks. One. And two. And tighten the knot so that the two turns are grip against the wood. If you want to bring a lug with you, you can do the same hitch at the end of the wood. Same steps. Pass the end of the rope around the wood and then around the standing end. Wrap the end around itself three times. And there you have your timber hitch. Let's see what's next. Hi! So for the next knot, ituro ko naman sa inyo kung paano gawin na long turn into half hitches. So for the round turn in two half hitches, first, wrap the end around the support. Wrap it around the standing part of the rope. Make another turn. And next, take it out of the loop. Tighten and you're done. That's it. Round turn in two half inches. Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to do a clove hitch knot. A clove hitch is two successive half inches around the pocket. For the tutorial, you need a wood and a rope. For the first step, hang the rope on the wood. Then second step, loop around the rope and put the end behind the wood. Third step, hold the end of the rope then pass it from behind the rope. And for the last step, pull the rope to tighten. And there you go! Now you have a clove hitch knot. Let's see the next knot. I will teach you how to tie high waist man hitch using this rope. How to tie high waist man hitch? First, take a rope and form a bite like this and place it behind a rail. And using a right rope, you will make another bite and pull it up to the first bite. And using our left rope, we will form another bite and pull it up to our second bite. To tie this up, we will need to pull this right rope just like this. And to release our rope from our rail, pull the left rope. And that's it! This is how to tie high waist mansings. So now, let's proceed to our next knot which is the bowline knot. 
Next up, I'll be showing you how to do the ball line knot. First, what is the ball line knot used for? The ball line knot is used to secure rope required items such as the tent or a boat sail. Or it can be used to secure the rope for climbing mountains or rescue missions. Now, I'll be showing you how to do the ball line knot. Be in mind that this is the left end and this is the right end. First, make a loop with the right side above. Second, pass the right end through the loop. Third, move the right end around the back of the left one. And finally, pass it through again and then pull it tight. And that's how you do a ball line knot. And that's how you made the ball line knot. Now, let's move on to the next one, which is the zeppelin bend. So, hi guys! Tuturo ko naman sa inyo paano gawin yung zeppelin bend. Let's go! Okay, syempre. So, first of all, kakalanganin natin ang dalawang rope. And, gagawin natin yung 69 method para sa zeppelin bend. That's it for the zeppelin bend, guys. Let's see the next knot. Hi, guys. So, today, papakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano gawin ang thought line to July. What do is a rope and a fold or in your tanking. So, magpaglalagyan kayo, pwede na yan. First, you can do is pull it inside the hole you gotta do a big cube like this make sure na you have a extra length so you can make another round after this you're gonna pull it down and up do it twice after that you have this you have this after this, you're gonna do another key line. Key line here, down and lift up again. And it will take like this. Medyo magulo siya, pero kailangan mo lang siyang hilahin. You're gonna need to pull up. Ta-da! I have it done. Bye. Bye-bye. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.